Ladies and gentlemen, Freddy Star. Me and the boys are new in school. Who's 40 years old and discovered the first rule? We get all cleaned up on a Saturday night. We say yes to the girls if they ask if they look all right. Load up the cars and drive around. Load in the windows and we go to town, son. But we talk too slow, drive too fast. to be here and tonight I'm smoking. I really am a smoking. Because I'm here tonight ladies and gentlemen to tell you about the power of my organ. I'm talking about my brain love. That is the biggest organ in my body. Look, <laughs> wait a minute, I took two steps <laughs> and all of you went, oh, no, <laughs> keep them away from me, keep them away. Hmm, <laughs> well, you see, ladies and gentlemen, I must tell you. Hi, Gareth, how are you? All right. You okay? Yeah. You take your Macintosh off your knee, you go blind. I've told you that before. <laughs> <laughs> What's your name, my love? Tina. Tina, what a beautiful name. Is this your boyfriend here? Yes. What, what do you bring us for? <laughs> and uh, have you ever met me before? No, never. And um, you give me a hand, please. Stand up. Just stand up. That's right. <laughs> now, Tina, you see, look at me, please. <laughs> no, no, to me, to me, look. <laughs> Don't laugh, please, because I'm going to show you hypnoticism. <laughs> Don't laugh, love. Please, relax. 
Now, I'm going to dangle something in front of your face. <laughs> now... <laughs> I'll, um... I, I, I just want to say, have you, quite sincerely, look into my eyes, like, have you ever seen my balls? <laughs> right. Now... <laughs> I want you... I love this bit. Now, I want you to close your eyes, all right? And don't peep, just close your eyes and feel these balls banging on your chin. <laughs> and then, um, you see, now what I want you to do is follow these balls with your head, not your eyes, just your head and follow them. That's good. Now, <laughs> you're under my power because I have such a powerful organ. <laughs> I'm going to thrust <laughs> my power into you. <laughs> now, you're totally under my power, okay. right? Mm -hmm. Now, follow the balls. Now, would you like to make love to Gary Mason? <laughs> Sorry, Gary. <laughs> um, now you're under my spell, I would like to you to go into the audience and pick three in your mind, because you're under my power, but it's your mind that picks out three effeminate-looking men. <laughs> okay? Okay. You may pick them. Remember, you're under the power of the organ. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Gareth! <laughs> what we do is, um, we, you're a sportsman, except Gareth. He's a... <laughs> coffee. <laughs> right? And, um, the thing is, you know, to, to be a, 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 a gladiator, both. <laughs> this man has got to train so hard. He's training. <laughs> not just for an hour, <laughs> not for a day, but not for a year, <laughs> but always. <laughs> God, big. I think I love you. <laughs> and Gary, you see, what made you park in boxing? Um, didn't like getting hit. <laughs> well, didn't you move your head? <laughs> no, my head was just too big, couldn't get it out of the way. <laughs> Hold up, Mike, a minute. Right? Now, you see... <laughs> <laughs> no, so, so, no, wait a minute, no, no. I'm the more, thing I'm is... I'm more worried about him than any of my opponents. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, you see, focusing on speed when you're actually fighting is, um, is a sort of... <laughs> right, so well, it does come in quick, doesn't it? It yeah, comes yeah, in quick yeah, and I could have yeah, yeah, yeah. doubled up. Yeah. <laughs> but I didn't want to do that because, you know, I didn't want my blood on the floor. So <laughs> I've got oh, brains yeah. in my rectum. <laughs> and, um, <laughs> and Gareth, and, uh, you've never been a sportsman, but you're uh, in the Avengers. Yes. Tell me something, I mean, did you actually. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> My, my, 
method of training is, pardon? <laughs> When God put teeth in your mouth, he, he ruined a good arse, didn't he? <laughs> My method of, of actually training is called the Morris training. And the Morris training is the best method... I'll back a minute while you talk. Yeah, OK. <laughs> 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 You're like Frank Bruno. <laughs> You know, Frank's a bit afraid of me. I don't know why. <laughs> and, um, can we bring out my equipment, please? For the lads and myself. This <laughs> 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 Stand by me here. Kind of, this side here. here. <laughs> right. Stay here. And you stand exactly like me and Gary are. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> Why am I talking down the stick? <laughs> <laughs> okay? So it's one, two, three, four. And we touch sticks. <laughs> OK? So we'll just try it. We'll, we'll have a, a, a little rehearsal first. Ready? And one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. OK? That's fine. Get some music, please. Two, three, four. <laughs> just pick it up and put it back on. <laughs> I'm sorry, no, I was <laughs> <laughs> Can we stick, please? <laughs> okay. Start the music. There we go. And one, two, three, four. Many performers here tonight have an agent or a manager. And the managers and agents send you to places that you don't want to go to. And we say, they always say the agents go, it's, it's, it's a nice place. <laughs> it's, a, it's a nice place. <laughs> when I went to this nudist camp, I didn't know it was a nudist camp. And they have prefects there, you see, with just baseball caps on. <laughs> and it's got prefect. And from a distance, it looks like perfect. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> and they give you a little chalet. And you go into the chalet. They give you a key. You've got the key in the door. Open the door. <laughs> Key in the pocket. And you think, oh, wow. And you put your 
tracksuit on. Because I feel comfortable in a tracksuit. Smelly old tracksuit. And a pair of Reeboks. Any box. <laughs> I'll go out the front door, get the key, lock the door. <coughs> and lock the door, put the key in my pocket. And I'm, I'm walking around and this prefect went, Excuse me! You! I went, Me? Went, yes, you! Give me that, please. Give me that, please. <laughs> and so I've walked up to him and I've, I've gone, uh, yeah? He says, clothes off. You're not allowed to walk around with clothes on. It's the rules of the nudist colony. So I went back to my chalet. I thought, oh, God. Dear. I put the key in the door, unlocked it, turned the knob, opened the door, closed the door, <clears throat> took all my clothes off. <laughs> Everything, I was stripped naked. I came out the door, got the key, locked it. <laughs> so, and there was this elderly lady, she must have been about 78, something like that, and she needed ironing. You know. She was all right. In the room. <laughs> and um, come up to me behind and tapped me on the shoulder. And she said, Hello, Fred. She said, Hello, love. Can I have this dance with you, love? I said, Yes, love, of course you can. And it wasn't like, um, like the. <laughs> it was like. <laughs> I was the boogie of it, you know what I mean? Yeah, get in that, yeah. you know what I mean? Um, I went, Ow! like Michael Jackson, you know. Ow! Yeah! Woo! <laughs> I was dancing with her, and she just guess how old I am. Because when women are past a certain age, they like to tell you how old they are. I says, I don't know, love. You must be in your 40s. <laughs> she says, I'm 92 today. I said, oh, love her. I said, very nice. I was dancing with her like that, and she started, hands started going down my back, <laughs> under two cheeks of my bum. <laughs> and honestly, she was pulling me into her. I went, I was in that. I said, she, 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 Mm -hmm. And she was like, mm -hmm. I was going, stop it! I said, at your age! For God's sake, at your age! And she died. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I did the Royal Command show. And I did impressions. And I want you now to assist me by closing your eyes, and when you do, you'll think it's that person singing. <laughs> so close your eyes. There's <laughs> <laughs> half closing and half not. Look, you... <laughs> would you close your eyes, please? You, look, don't, don't, don't peep. Don't, don't peep, love. You know, just close them. Close them. All of the back, close your eyes and just relax back and listen to the voice of Johnny Mathis. Close your eyes. Denisa, close your eyes. Look at it. Ladies and gentlemen, 
the fabulous Mr. Tom Jones. It's not unusual to be loved when you want. Yes. Ready. Ready. Yes. Yes. Would you please, for me, do an impression of Michael Caine? For you, I do Michael Caine. Great. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Fred. Yep. Singing Bee Bopalula. <laughs> Bee Bopalula. Give us a uh, in a or, or, or whatever key. It, it, Michael Caine singing Bee Bopalula. She's my favorite. Be Buffalo, I don't mean neighbor. Be Buffalo, she is my baby now, my baby now, my baby now. And not a lot of people know that. Yes, darling. Uh, can you do an impression of Columbo, please? <laughs> oh, Columbo. Hang on. Yeah. Okay. Freddie. Yeah. Singing Bee Bopalula. <laughs> Columbo. <laughs> right. Singing Bee Bopalula. <laughs> okay, lads. Be Bapalula. She's my baby. Be Bapalula. I don't know. Be Bapalula. She's my baby now. My baby now. My baby now. Okay. Yes, darling. Would you do one to me, please, darling? Could you speak a bit higher, love, please? <laughs> Would you do, um, yes. Richard Burton? Richard Burton. Yeah. <laughs> Ready? <R> yeah. <laughs> no more singing Bee Bop No! <laughs> no! Go on, sing Bee Bopalula. No, Richard right. Burton wouldn't sing Bee Bopalula. If he sang a song, it wouldn't be Bee Bopalula. All right. Do a hard day's night. It's been a hard day's night. And I should be sleeping like a lord. It's been a hard day's night. And I've been working like a dog. But when I get home to you, and find the things that you do. It makes me feel all right. It makes me feel all right. It makes me feel. Be Papalula. She my baby. Thanks, Jess. Thanks, Freddie. Thanks for the interruptions. Thank you very much indeed. Now, Jess, <laughs> we, 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 we've been pals for a long time. A long, long time. A long time. I want to buy the book. Right. You're in it. <laughs> Come on, Sergeant. 
My pal, Jess Conrad, yes? Well, Jess, let me do it, as always. Only took me three hours. <laughs> well, you're getting better. <laughs> Guess who my favourite singer is? I would say uh, your favourite singer is probably Elvis Presley. No. Ha! <laughs> I can tell Jeff! You. Ha! No! It is not Elvis Presley. No way, no. Guess who? Jess Conrad. No! <laughs> no! favourite singer Sorry, is Al Jolson. Al Jolson? Yes. You see, last show that I did, Vanessa sat over there. She sat on my back and she done it in. <laughs> Vanessa is on my back. Vanessa, thank you very much indeed. I can no longer do Al Jolson. I can no longer go down. <laughs> the thing is, if you kneel down, I'm on knee. Yes. Okay? And when I sing the song... Yes. I was with Bitfell on the spot there. Oh, yes. On, Close up, please. On the mo it's a long time since you've been television, Jess. Yes. <laughs> um, um, it, it, it just doesn't look right, Eminent. Uh, could you give us the um, coat and the shirt, please, with the thing on it? Thank you. Thank you. Just take your coat off me, Jess, please. Thank you very much. Oh. <laughs> No, no, Jess, you look the part. Thank you. As all you need now... Yes? ...is the gloves. The gloves. Have the gloves, please, the white gloves. Because Al Jolson should use his hands as well as his eyes. When you see them, sharp and long. <laughs> white gloves. These, these are more like my goalkeeping gloves. Yeah, the, the marigolds, that's what you wore. <laughs> all right, OK? Marigolds. <laughs> that's enough. It's like putting a condom on. So, that's all you've got to do now, Jess. Is kneel down upon your knee, okay? You look perfect now. You look Thank like you. the I know, Jolson. I, I know what I look like, yes. You look like the Jolson. <laughs> okay, lads, the music, please. Line up on my knees, honey boys. <laughs> oh. Time, mate. Oh, is that the end of part one? Yeah, time's up. No, oh. no, don't leave me like no, this, love. No, I'm a professional. <laughs> yeah, I'm a professional. I went on to bring on stage for you uh, four gentlemen that did my show last time I did it and I've travelled all the way from America this time please give a warm welcome to the one and only Jordan Ayers <laughs> He's a rock and roll and he's a guitar man with a great big soul. He lays down evil like a ton of gold. He goes by the name of King Creole. You know he's gone, gone, gone. Jim I can't fish on the pole. Yeah. You know he's gone, gone, gone. And he's taking King Creole. The king saw the move, which is good as done. He holds his guitar like a Tommy gun. He starts to growl down in his throat. He bends and sings that sauce, you know, you know it's gone, gone, gone. You know I can't fish on a pole. Yeah. You know it's gone, gone, gone. That's it, you can't 
starts to move, it's as good as done. He holds his guitar like a Tommy gun. He starts to growl down in the snow. He bends and sings that song. She wrote, she know it's gone, gone, gone. She will like catfish on the boat. Yeah. You know it's gone, gone, gone. That's shaking in Creole. He sings a song about a golden green. He sings a song about a jelly bean. But when he plays a rock and he will play heaven sakes. He don't stop playing till his guitar breaks. You know it's gone, gone, gone. Too much like canvas on the pole. Yeah. You know it's gone, gone, gone. I have to say it again, Creole. You know it's gone, gone, gone. Any more questions? Any more questions? Freddie, darling. Yes, love. Listen to me. You brought those Jordanaires over from the States, didn't you? They're yes, love. Aren't they wonderful? Terrific, Aren't terrific. They wonderful? Do you travel very much yourself? Yes, love, I do. In my profession um, and your profession, <laughs> <laughs> we do travel quite a lot. We do, I, yes, we do. I, I do. I've been to, um, I just come back from Australia and America and Egypt. And if anyone has never been on a camel before, well, has anyone ever been on a camel? Yes. 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 One hump or two? <laughs> well, I got on with two humps, and I got the... What you do is you put your, your sort of leg over the hump and put your leg round the hump like that, you see. <laughs> and I didn't know when camels got angry, they spat at you. I didn't know this. And there was this... Arab, there. And I was on the camel's back and I went, Hit it! Hit it! Hit it! Hit it! Hit it! And it went. <laughs> I was kicking it, whipping it, wouldn't budge. And this Arab went behind it and did something to it. And it shot off and I fell off. I said, What do you do to the camel to make it move like that way? He said, I kiss his bollocks. <laughs> I said, you've got to kiss mine, I've got to catch it. <laughs> and also, ladies and gentlemen, also, ladies and gentlemen, I've been up the Amazon, and there's nothing like going up the Amazon. Believe me. I swam up. <laughs> with them pyjama fish. <laughs> and uh, there's all snakes up there which I collect. I collect reptiles, you know? And uh, I had this, this is called Tiddles. Thank you. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is my pet tarantula. And this. It's a female, and female tarantulas, when they've actually made love to their, their males, they eat them. What's new? <laughs> so, um, it's okay. It's, it's okay. It's a female. Just stroke this back. Just, just, just look. look. <laughs> Just tickle it, look. Just tickle it. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, is there any more questions? Yes? I get really nervous when I've got to chat up girls, and I just wondered, you know, you being an older man, could you give me some advice? You see, <laughs> all men are nervous. You're not by yourself, by the way. You're not by yourself being nervous talking to women. Because all us men here know what it's like to actually go over and talk to a woman for the first time they ever see them. They're so, so nervous. Us men, we're very nervous people. Women, for some reason, are not. 
For us men, I'm nervous. You see, we possess something that you don't have, girls. <laughs> A female, by medical terms, does not have testosterone. They have nothing. And testosterone is a, a man's way of getting, feeling frisky. That's what makes it like you've got adrenaline. It goes down the body and you go, oh yeah. <laughs> testosterone goes straight down to your willy. That's what makes your willy work, is testosterone. Right? And once that kicks in, it takes over the whole body. <laughs> and us men, I've got no control. You know this, lads. At, at Discotech, we're there. And we notice, and we fancy one of them. And we, the testosterone hasn't kicked in yet. Okay? We just... And we see the girl, and it goes... And we go... No, no, no. And it, it takes control. And we can't be going, no, 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 no. And it's doing somersaults in her underpants. It's, it makes us nervous. And it looks something like this, look, a willy in your underpants. Sorry about your back. It's okay, love. There'll be another chance. What I want to ask is this. You talk a lot about Rumpy Pumpy, but... <laughs> rumpy Pumpy? Rumpy Pumpy. How's What's your rumpy father? Pumpy? How's your father? But the question is this. Have you ever really satisfied a woman in the bedroom? You can ask any woman in this audience. <laughs> uh, well, you see, women are different to men sexually. So when a man... If he's worth his salt in bed, he will always say to his woman, put your stockings on. <laughs> your suspenders and your stiletto wheels. <sighs> I love wearing them. <laughs> and, uh, and you look at a man, if you were the man tonight, look at his face. Just look at his face now. Because when a man makes love, he becomes ugly. You watch the man that you go home to tonight and watch how ugly he gets and think of me. <laughs> but you women can laugh. When you make love, you speak Swahili. <laughs> you lay there and say nothing. It's just expressions a woman gives you. You know, they lay there. You watch their face tonight, lads, when you take them home. There you are making love to them. And you're looking down upon their face. What's the expressions they pull? <laughs> and then they start speaking Swahili. religious on you. <laughs> oh God! I love this one too. <laughs> yes! 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 I love that one. I don't like this one. Push! After sex, how you women can just get out of bed and walk. <laughs> you get out of bed. <laughs> Cup of tea, lad. <laughs> oh, 
legs have gone. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we'll see you after the break, okay? Now, uh, welcome to uh, part seven. <laughs> and, uh, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to say that, uh, well, I'll just give you a little song now, a little gospel song. And gonna rock my soul in the bosom of Abraham, rock my soul in the bosom of Abraham, rock my soul in the Buzz on my Abraham, Lord, rock my soul. I'm gonna rock my soul in the buzz on my Abraham, rock my soul in the buzz on my Abraham, rock my soul in the buzz on my Abraham, Lord, rock my soul. I'm gonna rock my soul in the buzz on my Abraham, rock my soul in the buzz on my Abraham, rock my soul in the buzz on my Abraham, Lord, rock my soul. ago and you're still great but what I wanted to know <laughs> these days now that you are grown up and bigger than you used to be sophisticated certainly bigger than you used to be mm -hmm. <laughs> how do you relax I, I, I play golf you what I play golf Don't that, you? that is I, I never used to be able to play golf I never once had the um... hello <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Um, yes, I play golf. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, um, <laughs> good name, John. <laughs> now, this is the real one. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, Edwina, I play golf. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm John Sachs, and tonight Freddie Starr for his finale is going to perform something very dangerous. The last person to perform this lost his life. <laughs> I am, of course, referring to the great Harry Houdini. Tonight, good goalkeeper. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> tonight, Freddie Starr will face the chest of death. You're not worried? No. Would you like to get into your special equipment now? What is it? It's a tracksuit. <laughs> <laughs> a tracksuit? 
Yes. Yeah. OK. OK, then. Yeah. Go on, then. As Freddy gets into his... This way, Freddy. Oh, sorry. No way. <laughs> what do you want to slip on the egg? OK. As Freddy gets into his tracksuit, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, I can reveal the chest of death. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, this is the very chest of death that Harry Houdini used in 1926. It was October the 31st, Halloween night. 5,000 litres of water, freezing cold, of course. A solid steel frame, 350 nuts and bolts. This is the real deal. Ladies and gentlemen, fearless Freddy Starr. <laughs> you look wonderful. Pardon? You look wonderful. Do you think so? I think you look really amazing. <laughs> Thank you very much indeed. Because you've psyched yourself up for this, I have, you? I have psyched myself up. Completely training psyched up. the whole thing. Psyched up. You look very nervous, <laughs> I'm not nervous. Come on, over to the steps. Because the ladies and gentlemen really want to see this, don't we? Yeah! yeah. Come on, let's get on with it. Yes, uh... <laughs> Come on, up you go. There's no drinkies afterwards. Come on, up the stairs. Ladies and gentlemen, this water is freezing cold. As Freddie has just found out. <laughs> Now, what I'd like the ladies and gentlemen of the audience to do is to hold their breath with Freddie. When he jumps in there, he's going to hold his breath. We're going to seal him in there. I want you to join him in this. They say the average person can hold their breath for about 35, 45 seconds. But Freddie is not average. Freddie, are you ready? Then hold your breath. Ready? Now. Go on. Let's go, everyone. Big deep breath, everybody. And the clock starts now. Down it goes. We are now going to seal the tank. Solid steel padlocks. Thank you, ladies. Take a safe place, please. Down comes the curtain. <laughs> right, now, I'd like to ask my good friend Saracen to join me up on the stage. This is for safety reasons. We're fighting the clock here. Saracen, how are you? Good to see you. Going to need all your muscles tonight because here is an industrial hammer. If I need you to, I want you to break this glass. The glass is one inch thick. So you're going to have to give it a mighty wallop if something goes wrong. Now, I think we can take a look and see how Freddy's progressing. Already I have 41 seconds. <laughs> He's all right, ladies and gentlemen. He's smiling. He's all right. That's all right, Saracen. It's all, it's all going according to plan. 55 seconds on the stopwatch, and I'm beginning to get a little bit nervous about this because... This is further than he's ever been before. I don't know, one minute, 20 seconds. We've never gone this far before. Saracen, I think I'm going to need you to take a, a swipe. I'm going to leave it a couple more seconds. One minute, 26 seconds. You better, you better smash it. Come on, Saracen. He's gone. Ladies and gentlemen, ready, start. It's nice to be back. <laughs> you get down on your knee, Jess. <sighs> Thank you. Now, this is the song we know what we're going to do here. Well, I do, but you don't. Okay? Yeah. Al Jolson. Guess who's my favourite singer? Al Jolson, I know that. Good. <laughs> right, we're going to do. Here we go. 
Kleiner Pack.